All right, guys, what's up? Um, I'm in Colorado right now, and I am going to Japan on Thursday. So uh, I'm going to be there for the whole month of December, which means that right now is like my last week to prepare for that trip. And um, man, the last month or two has been so insanely busy um, with the tours and everything that's been going on. So I apologize for the less frequent videos during that period, but um, I'm back in the swing of things and uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, so definitely a lot of cool things planned for my time in Japan. I'm going to be going to some cool places and seeing some cool things and hopefully speaking some Japanese. And I am really looking forward to that. I definitely think that this time around, as opposed to the last time I went to Japan, um, I'm going to be in a much better position now to absorb stuff around me. Meaning that the last time I went in April, I was still so limited by my Japanese that uh, I wasn't really able to pick up on most of the things around me happening in Japanese. So I think that being at a stronger level, um, at least in the past for um, times I've gone to France and Italy, I've always gotten more language out of the experience after being at a higher level. So I think I'm going to be able to get a lot of benefit out of being in Japan. Now, for my Japanese, I've pretty much been doing the same kind of things that I've been doing the last, you know, most of the year. Um, so there's not too much new stuff to report. I mean, that's one thing about language learning is that, you know, the beginning is really exciting. There's a lot of new stuff happening. You're learning pronunciation and then words and then sentences and then grammar and all this stuff is new. And then you get to this middle stretch where you just have to do the same thing over and over and over and over again until you learn a lot of words and just more grammar and um, it's just a lot of the same stuff happening. Um, so I don't have a whole lot of new things to report there. I'm just learning more words and more grammar and hopefully that will put me in the best position possible once I get to Japan. Now I did mention at some point, I think maybe when I was in Sydney or New Zealand or something this fall, that I was focusing a bit more on grammar. And the reason for that was that, you know, to get to like 90 or 95% coverage of vocabulary in Japanese, you need like a crazy amount of words, like 10,000 words, um, which I'm not going to be able to get to this year. You know, with my two or 3,000, um, I'm at like 70% coverage. So to go from 70% to 90% with vocabulary alone requires a lot, a lot, a lot of um, vocabulary, which is, you know, just not something you can learn in the space of a few months. So um, I decided to focus a lot on grammar so that I would have a lot more flexibility with the words that I do know. Um, and that has proven to be quite helpful. You know, I spent a lot of time learning new verb conjugations, learning different ways to use particles, and there's actually a list I found. Um, I want to say the website is called Tenno something or other. I'll put a link in the video description, but I found a list of grammar points that supposedly contains every grammar point needed uh, for the JLPT all the way up from N5 to N1. So I've been studying those grammar points with my italki tutors. So I'll pick a handful of them for each lesson and then have them explain it and give example sentences. And so that's been a cool way to learn grammar um, without a textbook. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just trying to learn as many words as I can and doing the normal stuff. So that's it for now. I will definitely be in touch from Japan and uh, I'll let you guys know everything that's going on. So thank you for watching, as always. Thank you for your encouragement and your kind words and stuff. Um, I have to mention that that has been really awesome to have your guys' support throughout this year on this Japanese project. So uh, let's finish this thing strong, and I will talk to you soon. All right, thanks, guys. Ciao.